miles from where the storm hit on Sunday and left a lot of damage. So these folks thought they missed the storm on Sunday, but they were not so lucky this time. For now, we're live in Yazoo County. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, radar, and uh, you can see there it is, uh, the uh, radar imagery right there. We have uh, the line of showers and thunderstorms uh, continuing uh, across the region this morning. Can we switch over to the uh, Lynx 2 system, please? Lynx 2 system. If we can switch over to that, uh, Lynx 2 system right now. There we go. Okay, so you see right there the line of showers and thunderstorms continues to move across uh, the Pine Belt area. So if they can uh, put me up, uh, okay, on the uh, wall real quick, I'll just point that out real quick of where we have the uh, line of showers and thunderstorms right now coming into parts of the Pine Belt area. And, of course, that's going to continue to sink down. So as we head towards about uh, 4, 4.30, it will be affecting the Pine Belt area as well. But, uh, yeah, nasty line of showers and thunderstorms uh, continuing across that area uh, at this time. So, again, just about out of the viewing area. And, of course, uh, again, we'll uh, be up here. We'll be updating it. And, uh, and, and as we... Uh, uh, head to programming. If anything changes, if anything breaks out, we'll be sure to break back in and let you know about it. All right, Adam, thanks. I want to see if we got some more video to show you. You know, we've been working to get these new videos that have been just sent into our newsroom. This is some video of more of that lightning striking in Madison County. We know Lauren Cooper sent that to us. Remember, if you have a video you want us to see, send that to us on the U Local section of our website at WAPT.com. Again, this is in Fondren, just outside SNE Lock and Key on North State Street. So many people uh, were out and about, headed to pick up children from school or maybe even headed home from work. The capital in the distance, the blinding rain folks had to contend with as they were driving through these storms. Now, I believe we have Flowood, a crew in Flowood. Is that right? Let's check in and see what's going on there. Sure. Megan, we are here in Flowood where Laurel Drive and William Circle. And you can see behind me, there's a house that uh, unfortunately has fallen victim to this storm that we have today. A tree into the house, into the, uh, into the front of the house. I see firefighters in the garage of the house. They're now trying to talk uh, probably to the owners of this home to figure out what's going on. Uh, that's significant damage. We also saw as we headed News into the nine. subdivision in another home in the backyard, the tree went through the backyard and the back fencing. So there's some problem areas here. We can see debris on some of the roadways in this subdivision. See people that are now trying to start cleaning up from this quick storm that came through the area. They're trying to assess the damage in some situations, also pick up debris uh, about a Three, four houses and down from where I am. I saw a tree on top of the roof of a house, but not uh, not as damaged as the home that we're seeing here. So, obviously, uh, it's been an interesting storm. You can see the debris on the yards here in this in this subdivision. A lot of leaves and and debris on the roadways as well. Uh, but the significant damage that we've noticed here in this particular sub subdivision, this is, again, Laurel Road and Williams Circle, Laurel Drive and Williams Circle, I should say, a tree into the home uh, with firefighters on the scene. And uh, also, uh, we can see uh, some of the utilities, cable, power companies also in the area trying to uh, figure out what's going on here, assess the damage. Quite a bit of damage in this particular subdivision at this one home on Laurel Drive. So we will continue to uh, survey the situation, see if we can uh, find out what uh, what the repairs and what the damage is going to look like. But uh, that's the situation here in Flowood. Back to you in the studio. Thank you. Hope everyone is being safe as they head out to get to their homes this evening. There is so much damage, so much debris on the road, so many limbs and trees down. And of course, the power outages affecting our traffic lights right now. We are going to continue checking in with our crews, working to get more video, more reports of the damage across the area. We're going to rejoin programming right now, but of course, we'll see you right back here in less than an hour at 5 o'clock.